Oh, was, was there a special dialogue with that? No, there probably wasn't. I hope there wasn't. Anyway. Atlas, are you going to be happy, bro? Atlas, did you manage to find your brothers? Please be alive. Please be alive. Yeah, they're safe. Whew. Everyone's safe. <laughs> You're our savior, m'lady. From this point on, I am yours to command. You just say the word. Now, want me to bust the skulls of any of Greed's men we might have missed? Uh, no, that's... <laughs> uh, thank you, Atlas, but I don't think that'll be necessary. Why don't you go spend some time with your family instead? You sure? Well, all right. I'll do whatever you think's best. Our queen is a beautiful, kind woman. But her siblings caused her terrible grief. Being family allows you to forgive some things you couldn't otherwise. Though I understand it also makes other things unforgivable. A little while back, someone told me I was cold and standoffish. Do I really come across that way? Certainly I'm more reserved than either Ast or Pala. But isn't that true for most middle siblings? <laughs> and whenever I do have something to say, one of them always beats me to it. Who wouldn't seem quiet in such circumstances? Aww. <laughs> oh! Almost missed this. Oh, a silver purse plus plus. Whoo! All right, cash money ain't nothing funny. Huh? I got it this time. I now I know. Devil Axe? Oh. Hey, Dean! Hey, I am. And you are? Dean, I worked under grief. The Northern Desert was my watch. Ah, uh, so you are Dean. We owe you thanks. Had you pursued us, we couldn't have defeated grief. Your restraint was much appreciated. Huh. Quite the gamble. Fortunately, it paid off. You've got stones, little one. I like leaders with stones. <laughs> what say I throw in my lot with you? How are you always here? Oh, is this the bo is this the bone stuff? Wait. No. <laughs> I like my steel lances, dude. Fugue shield. Okay. Dungeon two. Who is this? I owe you thanks beyond measure for saving me. Oh my god. Here we my go. My name is Irma, and I serve at the Temple of Mila. Or did, I suppose. In truth, this place has been my only home for many a long year. I fear greatly what may have transpired at the temple. So you're an attendant to Mila? Interesting. We're actually making our way to the temple right now. I forgot this happened in Gaiden. So. Then... Might I ask? Uh, by the mother, 
Are you? No, you couldn't be. Uh, I'm sorry? Uh, forgive me. It's just that you bear a striking resemblance to Lady Liprica. Liprica? That's my mother's name. <gasps> then it's true. You're her. You're Princess Antiz. Mila be praised. You're alive. Are you saying you know my mother? Please, you... you must tell me anything you can about her. I never had a chance to know her, you see. It would be an honor, your highness. Where shall I begin? Like myself, Leprica was a sister in the service of Mother Mila. But all that ended once King Lima's royal procession arrived at the temple. Lady Leprica's beauty caught his eye, and she was stolen away in the night. He took her to his castle and forced her to join his seraglio of countless brides. Despite the luxury, I expect life in the castle proved most difficult for her. She soon took ill and left this world shortly after bearing your highness. Mother... I'm so very sorry, Princess Antis, but I would implore you to spare your tears. Lady Liprica thought only of your health and happiness until her final breath. Lady Liprica also left something for you, your highness. The diadem! For me? Aye, milady. It is a circlet that proves your royal standing. She asked that it be given to you once you were of age. A circlet? You can't mean the royal crown. Surely my mother had cause to hate the monarchy above all else. Doesn't she have I this by- I know not what her intentions were, milady. Nor have I the means of asking now. But, your highness, I know a time will come when your mother's heart grows clear to you. <laughs> the circlet is stored in the temple vault. I shall make my way there now. I must tell everyone that her highness Antis has returned to us. I will await your arrival at the temple. May Mila's blessing be upon you always. Don't get... Got by terrors, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay. Est! <laughs> Pella! Katria! Est! Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. Do you have any idea how much worry you've caused us? I'm sorry, Pella, but I. I. I was so scared! Katria! What? Hey! Stop this at once, Est. You're not a child anymore. But, but I, can't I be the kid's sister just this once? After everything I went through? But it's not just this once. That's the problem. You're never anything but the kid's sister. That is totally not true. Enough, you two. We're reunited for five minutes and all ready to <laughs> each other's throats? Honestly. <laughs> oh, Celica. I apologize for the scene my sisters caused. Don't be silly. I'm just glad the three of you are all right. We wouldn't be if you hadn't helped us. There's no way Katri and I could have done this by ourselves. Thank you, Celica. Truly. Thanks so much for saving me. My name's Est, by the way. I was kidnapped by pirates in Arcanea and brought here. I'd really like to hurry home, but, well, it wouldn't be right to run off before thanking you for your help. I'd like to fight with you if you'll have me. What do you say? How long were you in jail for? Oh my god, since... Are, I mean, okay, okay, I guess that makes a little bit of sense. Yavelin! Got two Yavelins. <laughs> uh, I think that's it for here. All right, let's peel. <laughs>